so you have Windows 8 and you've been really trying to like some of the differences with the modern UI and the new way to do search and how applications switch back and forth and and, and, and you're, you're still craving that Windows 7 experience you're you still need whether it's for productivity reasons or just for comfort reasons you want to have that Windows 7 like feel but still take advantage of some of the features in Windows 8 I want to show you two products that I found to be indispensable when working within Windows 8 um, they're both very inexpensive and they provide a lot of value so the first thing I'm going to show you is a product called start is back so uh, start is back is one of a number of different products that bring back the beloved start menu that you can see here in the bottom of the screen as you know um, with Windows 8 Microsoft is trying to pitch this as the new start menu but for many of us we're still living in a desktop world and especially if you're in an enterprise or a business setting uh, you're probably spending 99.9% .9 of your time in desktop mode and as great as this is so for instance if I want to look for notepad I can type it in um, I don't actually have any files I really want apps so I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna launch notepad and there it goes well, well, well that's fine but but the experience I'm really looking for is this start key notepad enter boom I'm there um, I personally still find that to be the fastest way to find things as opposed to going through the the search uh, the window the new Windows 8 search so start is back is uh, it's a product uh, it's you get a 30-day trial and what you get is, is you get your start menu back but you still have full control over uh, going to the modern user interface and the desktop user interface so for instance here I am in desktop mode if I hit the start key on my keyboard it'll bring it up if I hold control start or control windows then it's going to bring me into the modern UI so I still have that um, the other thing that's really cool I'm gonna get rid of my CVC app here I'm gonna unpin this just to show it to you again um, is that when you're in desktop mode here if I go to all programs there's a folder here called start apps and when I click on it you'll see that all of my modern modern apps are listed here so I can still access all of these from my start menu not only that but if I launch, let's say I'm going to launch CBC News here, and uh, I will actually want this to be pinned to my start menu, I can right-click. Uh, oh, sorry, I can right-click here. I can say pin this to the taskbar. And so now, look at that. From my desktop, I can actually launch an application. Isn't that great? One of my modern UIs. Now, this might be the point where you're looking at this going, whoa, 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 whoa. You just opened a modern UI in desktop mode how did you do that well that's my second product I want to show you uh, this is something called modern mix um, it's from a company called Stardock. you may know them from another product they did called Windows window blinds it's very popular with Windows 7 um, allowed you to have a lot of, of um, really cool customization with Windows so they've created modern mix and what modern mix does it is it allows you to run your modern UI uh, your modern applications in Windows 8 from your desktop so what I can do with this is because normally you'll know if you go to uh, if you go to here and you you launch one of these applications it's going to launch in full screen here and you're not really in the desktop you're in you're in the the modern UI here and, and there's a difference between the two right but wouldn't it be great if I could click this and oh uh, look it opens in my desktop that's fantastic and I can minimize it and I can dock it and I can do all sorts of stuff with it and it's still I'm using using my, my finger here to touch it's still just as responsive in uh, in desktop mode so that is modern mixer and what modern mixer does is uh, I'm gonna launch it here it basically is a utility that allows you to say okay when you launch a modern app how do you want it to appear so for instance when you launch it from the Windows 8 start menu do you want it to be full screen um, windowed but maximized or windowed and not maximized so let me just show you the difference if I say full screen here and close this now let me go back and I'm gonna open up that CBC app news application and oh, maybe not the CBC news application hang on uh, let's go back to news <laughs> still opening it windowed the reason for that is if I go to modernizer here and I go to app settings um, one of the things that I've got here uh, you'll see that there's a list of all these different modern uh, apps that I've got you can actually override so this is general settings but then in the app settings you can actually set this to say oh do I want it to be full screen maximized or windowed all the time so this obviously overrides I'm gonna set this to full screen just so that we can see the difference here 
So if I go back and I go to my start screen and I click on this, okay, so now I have that full screen Windows 8. I'm, I'm in the modern UI for this one, right? Um, so it's great that you can have all that control over it. Um, the other thing is that you can set it from uh, when it starts from the Windows 8 start menu as well as when launched from the Windows desktop mode too. So you have control over both. So in this case, I want it so that any modern app that I launch is always going to be in opened in a window and it's going to be maximized. Okay. And like I said, there's app settings here that you can also do. Um, I can delete all these settings here, yeah, get rid of them, and then that way now my general settings will just apply. Okay. Modern Mix uh, is, I think it's selling for five bucks uh, if you want to buy the license. And like I said, it's a 30 day free trial. But uh, yeah, it's two applications that are, uh, are really great um, and add extra functionality to Windows 8 that many believe should, should still be there. Um, so check them out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.